I went to school in Chicago at Northwestern. This was research that we were doing in grad school for aerial vehicles, aerial robots, flying around in warehouse-like settings and being able to recognize what they see using computer vision and machine learning. We realized that this has real industrial applications that can help people. Our proprietary blend of processors and sensors and of course the software that runs them, these sit on top of the drone hardware and allows aerial robots to know where they are inside of warehouses and find the items that um, that a lot of these warehouse managers are looking for. And it does so in an automated way without human control. The wonderful thing about this technology that makes it sort of magical is that it doesn't require any external setup or infrastructure. They don't need to change their barcodes, they don't need to put extra labels anywhere, uh, they don't need to outfit their entire warehouse with beacons or change the racks or anything expensive like that. So these drones are able to fly without lane markings, uh, without external pathing. As they fly around, they, they look at what they're seeing and create a map of where they are, which allows these drones to fly autonomously because we want to make it as easy as possible for these warehouses to be able to automate their inventory capture. These are very, very large spaces that go up very, very high, uh, and they have racks, metal racks that are stacked to the ceiling. Um, for these warehouses, the current way that they're doing this is super duper slow and um, antiquated. They're using sometimes ladders and paper and pencil. They're using forklifts, they're using handheld barcode scanners, and it's a very slow and laborious and boring process. These automated solutions are able to do at least 10 times faster at a fraction of the cost. So instead of having a full-time inventory staff to do the cycle counts and the physical inventories, uh, they're able to use these drones to do them more accurately, quicker, and cheaper. We're based here in St. Louis. Uh, we also have a location in Chicago. We're downtown in T-Rex. Like many incubators across America, they're really promoting innovation everywhere. It's a wonderful community of young entrepreneurs who are all doing very amazing things. For a lot of these, these kind of applications for software development, um, it's not something that's bounded by physicality. Like we don't have to be in the Bay Area. We don't have to be in Mountain View or, or in Boston or New York. Um, we can do our development wherever our customers are and that happens to be in the Midwest.